Hi everybody, it's March 6, 2019. I'm in the car yesterday. I'm listening to Sean Hannity. Yes, I listen to these radio talk shows because I want to hear what they're saying. Sean Hannity boasting about how great the economy is doing. Americans are back at work and you can thank Trump for that. They're saving so much money with these tax cuts, the Trump tax cuts. Everything is a lie. And then I, I really do have to, <laughs> I, I'm like, are we living in the same reality? Um, because the reality I know, uh, an American can have a completely different reality. This is the most bizarre time that we are living. Either uh, we are living different realities or, or lying has just, it, it has grown out of control due to our acceptance of lies. But Amazon increased their minimum wage in November to $15 an hour. Now they're cutting stock at, uh, awards and incentive pay. Amazon, the owner of Whole Foods, has cut worker hours after the minimum wage. So it negates the benefits to those employees. Employees who were working part-time, only getting the 30 hours because, oh, I'm not going to put you up to an hour where I have to give you benefits. 30 hours now is 20 hours a week. Since the wage increases, whole food employees have told The Guardian that they have experienced widespread cuts that have reduced schedule shifts. What does that mean for Whole Foods? It means the employees are having to work harder. Yes, crack that whip, slave. We just have to work faster to meet the same goals in less time. Uh, and customers are feeling it. Apparently things have made it, this has made it more noticeable. Long lines, the need to call for cashier and bagging assistance, customers not being able to find help in certain departments because not enough are scheduled. Um, well, when you get to this point in our society, these corporations don't care about the customers and don't care about the employees. Employment gains low dramatically as small business cuts most jobs. Since 2013, there was a sharp decline in small business growth as these firms continue to struggle with offering competitive wages and benefits. The economy has throttled back and so too has job growth. The job slowdown is clearest in the retail and travel industry and at smaller companies. American farm debt reaches 1980s crisis level up from 385 billion last year and is currently at levels not seen since the agricultural recession in the 80s. Farm bankruptcies continue to skyrocket. Now we're at a 10-year uh, high as the trade war bites. Home flipping profits tumble to seven-year low as mortgage rates spike. Hmm. South Carolina will be one of the biggest losers in Trump's trade wars. I look at the headlines when I'm in a store I don't buy these papers, but I look at the headlines. And just a couple of uh, days ago, I saw trade war hurting South Carolinians. A couple of months ago, I saw trade war hurting South Carolina. Well, uh, South Carolina automakers and others, other businesses say tariffs hurting business and consumers. Gap, JCPenney, Victoria's Secret, Foot Locker, 465 store closures in 48 hours. So let's go through 18. 18 real big numbers that show that the U.S. economy is starting to fall apart very rapidly. Yes, our economy is not strong. What you are hearing from Trump, the Trump administration, from your um, conservative talk show hosts, a lie. So farm loan delinquencies just hit the highest level 
in nine years. U.S. exports declined by $4 billion during the month of December. J.C. Penney closing 20, another 24 stores. Victoria's Secret closing 53 stores. Gap closing 230 stores. Uh, Payless Shoe Source declared bankruptcy, closing all 2,100 stores. Telsa, Tesla, sorry, uh, is also closing all of the physical sales locations and will now only sell vehicles online. PepsiCo has started laying off workers, but committed to millions of dollars in severance pay. Baltic Dry Index has dropped to the lowest level in more than two years. Worst slump for core U.S. factory orders in three years. Witnessed, we've witnessed the largest decline in the Philly Fed Business Index, index in more than seven years. In January, sales of existing homes fell 8.9% from a year earlier. That was the third month in a row that we have seen a decline of at least 8%. This is absolutely catastrophic for the retail industry, uh, retail, real estate industry. U.S. housing starts were down 11.2% in December. Home sales in Southern California were down 17% in January. In Sacramento County, they fell a whopping 22.5% compared to one year earlier. Pending home sales in the United States have now fallen on a year over year basis for 13 months in a row. The economy is doing swell. Yeah. $166 billion in student loan debt is now seriously delinquent. All-time record. More than 7 million Americans are behind on their auto loan payments. That's a new all-time record. Uh, it appears that the recovery has finally come to an end. What recovery? There hasn't been one. Uh, after seeing all of those numbers, there is no way that anyone can possibly claim that economic conditions are getting better. And even though the official government numbers are highly manipulated, we never even had one boom year throughout the entire recovery. Last year was the 13th year in a row when U.S. GDP growth was below 3%. That's not what you hear from our conservative mainstream media reporters. Yes, it's that right-left dance that we uh, that that has become a tango. I don't know. Last year, um, or last time, we had a boom year when economic growth was above three percent. Was two thousand and five. So yeah, everything bubble is bursting. The perfect storm is coming and all of our lives will never be the same again. Robots. Robots. Robots have taken so many jobs already. Farm workers, get ready. You're going to be replaced by robots. Workplace autom uh, automation is everywhere and it's not just about robots it's uh, small business the most important thing is repetition when you find something you do more than once that adds value you want to look into automation and automation is becoming the new revolution machine learning Automation is making inroads in talent acquisition, employee recruitment. It's uh, in human resource departments, automating processes like tracking down potential candidates, scheduling interviews. Machine learning and artificial intelligence enable new forms of smart automation, and they are taking jobs. Customer service chatbots appear more human, for example, um, because they have built-in imperfections into its AI. <laughs> so you pick up that phone, you're calling customer service of, I don't know, a bank, a, a company, and they have built-in imperfections. Will you know 
if you're actually talking to a human or a chatbot? Perhaps not. 19 jobs least likely least likely this is not the article that I wanted but I will link to it below hang on for one sec well before I get into the robots that Trump tax cut that is still being hailed as magnificent and it has helped out so many Americans millions of Americans are getting angrier tax refund shortfall hits 46 billion that refund well people are getting less than they expected from that tax cut Walmart replacing overnight shifts with labor saving machines and is eliminating store greeters despite the fact that Walmart if you hear a sneezing it's the cat uh, reported blowout earnings thanks to surging online sales. When you buy things online, you are absolutely not caring about the people who are working in stores. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's just the truth. Um, it's eliminating the graveyard shift in hundreds of stores while expanding the use of a labor-saving product sorting machine overnight shift that restocks the aisles at about 300 stores uh, will be transitioned uh, out. Walmart is accelerating its robotic rollout and is expanding the use of a backroom conveyor system that takes boxes of products from trucks and scans them to speed their delivery to the shelves. The so-called fast unloader machine will be in 1,700 stores by the end of the year, up from 400 now, leading to even more mass layoffs of highly unskilled workers. The transitioning of Walmart's trademark store greeters to customer hosts. Well, the disabled greeters fear that they will lose their jobs if they can't handle the additional duties. Yeah, well, a lot of Americans are getting swallowed up, suffering the consequences of our great economy. Record number of robots replaced humans in 2018. U.S. companies deployed more robots last year than ever before. Shipments of robots hit 35,880 in 2018, up 7% over 2017. Most robots have always been employed by the automotive industry. Well, they're now down 12% in their um, robot orders. But 16,702 shipments went to non-automotive companies in 2018, an increase of 41%. Notable growth came in areas like food, and consumer goods, 48%, plastics and rubber, 37%, life sciences, 31%, electronics, to, uh, 22%. The food industry is really starting to take off. Robots, bars, hiring or buying robots uh, for bartenders and uh, hamburger flippers and all kinds of things. Yeah, just want to take you down to, oh, haven't you heard? The Industrial Revolution is over. We won. So companies already replacing humans with robots. The machines are taking over. Yeah. Well, McKinsey reported from 2017 predicting that robots will take over 800 million jobs by 2030 which would affect one-fifth of the global workforce. DHL started to use collaborative robots in 2016. SIG is, um, yeah, it now has, it's replaced most of its workforce with robots. So the company now only has 700 workers. Huh. Um, Uber, ride-sharing app 
is testing self-driving cars on the roads of San Francisco and Pittsburgh. And while those self-driving cars, while well, we've seen the accidents uh, occurring, they'll get it together and there will be no more taxi drivers. Um, there will be no more uh, drivers. Oh, right, they're getting rid of the car. Um, well, Tesla, of course, is getting rid of all of its physical stores, which means all of the physical human beings that work there. Cali Burger, kitchen robots are starting to pack a punch. Uh, the drinks industry, goodbye to human bartenders, first bionic version installed on a cruise liner and in bars on the Las Vegas Strip, Best Buy. Retail robots are hitting stores in droves. Robot retrieves small items like CDs and headphones in seconds after customers order via a touch screen. Um, other companies in Japan, Amazon, um, now has 100,000 robots working in its warehouse. Now 10 Amazon Go staff free checkout free stores. Amazon Go's just walk out. Shopping experience powered by an app which allows customers to enter the store once it is downloaded. The app then tracks the products you pick up around the store and charges your account later so that you can walk out without with your purchases as easily as you walked in. Target Target carried out a trial of stock checking robots at one of its stores in downtown San Francisco, the Tally Droid, which quietly moved around the store scanning products and labels. Lowe's, human customer service staff, may soon have to start thinking about a career change. It's a multilingual bot which helps customers locate products and can keep tabs on inventory levels, Macy's, artificial intelligence powered virtual bot. The leading department store launched Macy's On Call, a mobile digital shopping assistant that can deal with customers' queries and help them navigate, navigate the store. Adidas, robot made Futurecraft MFG shoe, first automated factory in 2017 in Germany. Adidas Speed Factory has streamlined the sneaker manufacturing process and the firm has since opened another of these futuristic factories in Atlanta. Okay, well, I've, and I'm sure a lot of you, have never liked these companies uh, because what they are hiring are slave labor um, in other countries now, now in this country, but um, really hurting uh, treating, you know, their employees as they are slaves, just like slaves. Well, now there won't be any more human slaves. You know, don't you wish that we could have moved towards these companies treating employees fairly, at least? No, now we're just going to get rid of them. Walmart. Warehouse drones, which fly around its distribution centers, monitoring inventory levels and flagging up low stock or missing items. Uh, super efficient. The flying bots can do a full stock check in under a day, a task that would normally take human staff an entire month. Carrier. Air conditioning firm hit the headlines in 2017 when then presidential candidate Donald Trump claimed he'd broker a deal to keep carrier jobs in the U.S. while 1,000 American jobs were saved. Carriers still laid off 632 workers for cheaper labor, laborers in Mexico, um, but a significant proportion of those roles will be taken over by robots. As the company embraces automation, Nestle's robots to sell coffee pods and machines in department stores in Japan as well as answer customer queries. More than just a gimmick, the robots have been rolled out to 1,000 stores in the country. MasterCard, Pizza Hut, 
uh, they MasterCard teamed up with Pizza Hut to roll out cashier and customer service robots at the firm's restaurants in China, like Nestle's. They, the initiative uses soft bank humanoid pepper robots, which can take orders, process payments, and answer diners' questions. Pizza Hut, uh, two robot waiters. The friendly droids welcome diners, show them to their seats, take orders, and deliver drinks. And soon we'll have robot pizza makers. Japan's care system, low birth rate, and historically high life expectancy had led to a large number of over 65s and a lack of younger people to look after them. Robots are set to become a fixture in global social care. Global, not just Japan, Japan, because that's what's happening in an awful lot of countries. We do have a fertility crisis, so those of you who are saying the population's getting too big, no, do the research. We have a fertility crisis that is global, and we have lower birth rates, so robots will be taking care of you when you're old. Foxconn, uh, and yeah, Trump, oh my God, I'm such a great negotiator. I am so great. I brought Foxconn to, where is it, Racine, uh, Wisconsin. Oh, there's going to be so many jobs. I said, and I posted videos on this, no, there will not be. Foxconn got rid of 60,000 human workers, replaced them with robots. And Foxconn, the Chinese company that makes Apple, Samsung, and Microsoft devices. And remember Foxconn. Well, that's one of the companies that their employees were jumping out the window to kill themselves. Because Foxconn is just such a great company. Just Eat online delivery service, Just Eat started using robots to deliver food in Gren uh, North Greenwich, London, self-driving robots. They've got GPSs and cameras, so they'll not only drive your food, deliver your food, they'll spy on you. Marriott Hotels. Uh, robots help human hotel staff check in guests, um, deliver food and drink to guests. Crown Plaza. Uh, robots, they have touch screen face droid, which delivers sandwiches, cosmetics to the hotel guests, Yotel, uh, service robots at Singapore Hotel called Yoshi and Yolanda. The Yobot robotic luggage storage robot in New York and a guest services droid at its Boston Hotel. Uh, multiple robots working at high-end hotels, uh, Las Vegas, Chicago, food, or Ford, sorry, Ford, um, cobots, smaller robots that work alongside human workers and can even perform delicate tasks, such as making coffee for their uh, flesh and blood colleagues. Well, get it. Robots are going to replace human beings. And I saw an article, they said 80% of jobs will be replaced with robots. And this is happening now. It's accelerating rapidly. So all those kids in college, coming out of college with a huge debt to pay back, um, the professions that they are you know, looking to get jobs in, uh, many won't be able to find them. People really need to start thinking about what they can do when they get replaced by a robot. Um, and, yeah, what I would love to see is community members working together and, you know, developing something that works for all of you instead of relying 
on these corporations that treat you like shit, degrade you, um, and you work like a slave. So Nissan, one of the world's most efficient car plants, a factory in Sunderland, England, churns out half a million vehicles a year and can build a quash K, what is that? I guess a car. In just 8.5 hours, 95% of the plant is automated with robots carrying out the bulk of the work. Capita, British outsourcing firm Capita has announced plans to replace 2,000 staff with automatons. Um, and the, the <laughs> FTSE 100 firm, which counts the UK's National Health Service and Driving Standards Agency, among its client base, well, that's going robot, cobot. China's uh, Everwind Precision Technology has replaced 90% of its factory workers with robots. Okay, um, when you look at China replacing 90% of its factory workforce with robots. How do you compete then with China? You replace your workforce with robots. Zara, 14 automated factories in Spain staffed by scores of robots that do everything from cutting patterns to dyeing fabric. The machines work so fast they can get a product uh, from the design stage to the sale floor in 10 days. Okado, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, uh, a UK-based online grocery, sh a grocery shopping delivery service has started to use 1,100 robots to pack all of its grocery deliveries. Um, and this is absolutely uh, coming here really fast. It's already um, operating these robots that are working in uh, warehouses and these warehouses are getting rid of humans. The robots are collecting the products and doing the job of the human being. The World Banking, um, a major Dutch bank, replaces 5,800 human staff with robots. That was in 2016. investment companies. So, all right, well, there you go. Our economy is not doing well. You're listening to lies. Yeah, and you know that the economy is not doing well when you are suffering the consequences. Um, you who are still comfortable and yet to suffer the consequences, well, you might not want to be taking a look, you know, and just you know, saying, well, Trump is doing a great job with the economy. No, no, no. So, not just your fellow Americans, uh, but your fellow human beings all over the world are getting screwed. It's the new revolution that doesn't really include human beings.